Hello and welcome to another behind the scenes so far to Man Part 3 of my Dota 2 Fader Adventures uh, Episode 2 in the series. Uh, I'm kind of really sort of a little bit frustrated that uh, the ending isn't quite how I anticipated it. Originally I was going to have the ending be uh, the character of Rachel, she would be cornered by the uh, weevil type creature but oh well, um, you live and you learn I guess. Um, and also it really frustrates me that I can't for the life of me remember the name of uh, the person who said the quote. I was going to add a little quote of a house conquered is a house divided uh, and I can't remember I keep forgetting, I keep blanking on the person's name uh, who said it. It was one of the American presidents um, uh, and that and I again keep blanking on it um, like I keep wanting to say Benedict Cumberbatch, but obviously he's an actor. <laughs> so, um, uh, and that, but yeah. Um, I also, it's the first time that I've ever, I think, had the Sylvester McCoy action figure in a figure adventures, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the season 26 variant one of him with the brown coat, uh, and that, and then also the same with the, um, uh, Yana, Professor Yana figure, which is extremely mouldy and disgusting looking, although it makes him look like he's very much like a burnt victim, <laughs> and that which, you know, um, is a thing. And then I think this John Sim figure I've used before in the network, I think I used it, uh, him, uh, beginning of the network sort of thing. Also, if I seem to be quite rushy in my voice, if that makes sense, like quite scatterbrained and quite talking quite quickly it's because the battery on my um uh video camera is running low currently so you know uh it probably doesn't help that man part three was like an epic <laughs> you know nearly like 14 minutes long um i don't particularly like doing too long uh episode or pa well not episode but part anyway also the planet xena minor is kind of a thing that zeta minor is a thing in planet of evil which i didn't realize until i was flicking through uh, a bunch of old Classic Who DVDs once when I was getting bored and um, yeah, flicked on the back of it and it was like, Zed, Zena Minor and I'm like, wait, what? So yeah, um, seems like I can't come up with any name for any title <laughs> without ripping off Classic Who or Planet Zena Minor. Well, it's a colony planet anyway, as per usual with these things <laughs> and, and that, but yeah. Also, um, if you couldn't already tell for the umpteenth time, the 8th Doctor is of course using the 3rd Doctor Sonic, because for the life of me, this time I couldn't find, uh, probably like the last time, uh, the actual 8th Doctor Sonic, which is annoying because I am kind of one of those, <coughs> excuse me, nitpicky people who get really pissy and annoyed uh, when I can't find or use specific things that I want to use and, 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 and things along those lines, so yeah. So yeah, um, spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen Man Part 3, uh, what are you doing? Uh, this is sort of like the Doctor Who Confidentials, but on a, but like a classic series version of that, so really cheap. <laughs> um, but basically what I was going to say is, spoiler alert, the ending is that obviously the scientific community have greenlit the professor's uh, sort of uh, experiments and that, and his uh, genetic research and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, I have one more sort of trick up my sleeve, <laughs> in quotation marks, if you, you could even call it a trick, uh, and that at this point, um, and that it's not gr a massive great plot twist, I guess, I don't know, I mean, uh, from what I remember of Idavros, uh, I haven't listened to Idavros part one and two since, uh, I, uh, since I recorded those uh, reviews uh, for Idavros, the the first two episodes of Idavros, uh, but one of the plot twists was going to be very similar-ish to a plot twist in Idavros, I think, uh, was originally what I said. I think I did anyway. But yeah, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I'm just trying to find some more stuff for the companion to do as well, and it's probably even more difficult to do more stuff with Gwen's character, uh, and that when I've also got another female character or side character with uh, Rachel on that. So yeah, Gwen, uh, she has a bit of a moment in the TARDIS, if you don't already know uh, about the whole sort of uh, 
uh, trying to save everyone sort of thing, I guess. Or the Doctor goes off on one about, like, how he can't obviously save everyone and, you know, uh, and obviously Gwen, her character kind of wants him to save everyone and that, but, you know, but in this sort of situation maybe he can't, I don't know, uh, and that, but... Yeah, I mean, that might be a thing, a story thread or, uh, story thread and or, uh, idea and story, yeah, thread, I guess, uh, 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 let's go with that word, um, that we pick up more on in parts four, it's a five-part story, uh, from what I remember, I think, was, if Rebirth was a four-part story, which I think it was, then, yeah, I think this one's a, a five-part story, and that, so, yeah, so, after this part, you've still got two more installments of Man Part 2. I mean, Man uh, Episode 2 Man, even, of this Figure Adventure series. And then, uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully I've built up uh, the character of Professor John Stevenson uh, fairly well and that. Because I actually really like this, uh, uh, I was going to say character, but also action figure of the curator. And I don't know why, but I also get very, sort of, uh, evil, uh, scientist -y vibes of the figure and that, like, as soon as, uh, uh like, alter al alternatively to, obviously, the, uh, uh, curator and that, you know, in Day of the Doctor and that, you know, um, I think it would, as I say, like, it makes for a good, sort of, villainous, uh, character, you know, sort of, um, as I say, uh, professor -y type dude, so, yeah, um, yeah, ho hopefully there is still some more, uh, things that I can do and uh, hopefully I conclude the story up well uh, and that hopefully I don't write myself as it were into a corner and that but yeah um yeah it's, it's been fun hopefully part three is a bit more of an improvement because again I am kind of annoyed at myself that I can't for the life of me remember the quote it's um house divided is uh, or house divided is a house conquered uh, and that uh and I can't remember, it was, uh, it was, again, one of the presidents from American history, and I think it would have been really cool to have that, because originally I was going to have Gwen say, oh, Doctor, I think I smell a bit of a rat in, uh, in, in this sort of room, as it were, you know, someone who sort of betrayed them and that, because the idea is that, obviously, uh, the Sylvester McCoy character and doll figure, dude, um, has obviously been told by Professor John Stephen to kind of, you know, plant the idea in the seed of, you know, this is a really good idea, we should do it because of X, Y, and Z, and then, you know, the other people get sort of swayed by that as well, so, but, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, as I say, it has been fun, <laughs> and that, and that's kind of why I do these, but, it could have been a bit better. I mean, it could have been worse. But yeah, uh, also, the if you didn't already notice earlier in the episode as well, like the Gwen figure kept just falling over and that. That was very annoying. So I had uh, te technical difficulties, as always. Uh, but it wouldn't be a Doctor's Assistant 1 video without them, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.